Hello and welcome, my name is Kyle for the winning. Welcome back to another Black Ops Cold War video. Today we are back with a, another news and information video surrounding Black Ops Cold War. I'm sure a lot of you guys aren't really, don't really care too much about Black Ops Cold War up to this point because we are just a few months away from Call of Duty 2021, of course, with Call of Duty Vanguard. But nonetheless, we are getting a Season 5 Reloaded event here within Black Ops Cold War next week, which is, of course, the center point of the season. We have a whole bunch of multiplayer information, as well as Warzone, Zombies, etc. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into it. Starting off here with the multiplayer side of things, which you guys know I care about the most, we are getting ourselves the return of the multiplayer map Zoo, which was back in Black Ops 1. Not too bad of a map. I have played this map more than Drive-In, so I do am more familiar with it. And it's pretty fun. It's not the most amazing map as far as my knowledge, but it's still pretty good and is overall a fun map, so I'm definitely excited to give that a try here within the Season 5 Reloaded event. Personally, I'm very, very happy to see that they are adding Black Ops 1 maps into Black Ops Cold War. So as I mentioned in my video from yesterday, if you guys missed that, it will be linked down below. But in that video, I mentioned how I honestly wish that they would have added more Black Ops 1 maps into Black Ops Cold War than Black Ops 2 maps, only because Black Ops 1 fits the scene or the, the way of, or the setting, sorry, of Black Ops Cold War better than Black Ops 2 maps do. Because, of course, the Cold War went from 1946, 45, all the way up until 1990-something. So, you know, they definitely could have done a lot of stuff with Black Ops 1 maps. So I personally wish that they would have added more. But seeing Black Ops 1 maps in coming back into this game is very, very cool. And hopefully for Season 6, which is the final season of Black Ops Cold War, we get ourselves quite a few awesome new maps as well from Black Ops 1. We're also going to get ourselves a the return of Demolition as well on the Season Reloaded Day which it does say September 9th on the roadmap, but I think it is going to be coming out September 10th instead. Not totally sure on that, but if, but whatever the case is, I will have gameplay on whatever day the season goes or the season five reloaded event goes live. And Demolition is a pretty cool mode. Again, I talked about this in my season five roadmap video way back before season five started. But essentially, it's two teams, uh, basically a search and destroy style game mode except there are respawns one team obviously tries to blow up both objectives one team tries to defend both objectives it's a pretty fun game mode really really like it and if it is a permanent addition into black ops cold war it will definitely be in my quick play so jumping over here to warzone which i'm sure most of you guys play if not on this channel if unless uh, this is more of a multiplayer channel but we still talk about warzone nonetheless whenever we get warzone information as well even though i don't play it but we're getting ourselves two new warzone modes between now and the uh, end of the season we're getting ourselves the game mode clash which is basically a 50v50 tdm mode from other battle royales like fortnite and etc we're also getting the iron trials 884 mode which i'm not really sure what that is it's a picture of a uh, two skulls either getting knocked together or grinding together again i don't really know what this is going to be like but still pretty cool nonetheless and then we're finally going to be getting a numbers sequence broadcast which leads me to my next point or my next part of this video which is the seasonal event which is going to be called the numbers we don't really know what this is about but it's still very very cool that they're adding this in and you get to earn rewards across black ops cold war and Warzone, and the rewards are all in the roadmap which i will leave down below in the description as well <clears throat> we have ourselves what seems to be a melee weapon um, which is sort of like a ninja sword type thing is the best way for me to describe it. We also get ourselves an old school retro Activision game. We get ourselves a watch, a red door weapon charm, which appears to be an emblem. I think this might be an animated emblem, not totally sure. And we get ourselves a, a weapon charm as well. So again, we'll have to see. Again, this is probably going to be, unfortunately, a little bit more of a lackluster event than what we have previously gotten in previous Call of Duty games. But still pretty cool nonetheless that we are getting an event. And then for all of you zombies folks, you are going to be getting a new Outbreak region with Armada. Then we are also getting a new Outbreak World event called Black Chest. Again, I'm not really sure what that is. The image is of a, well, a chest with ether crystals on it. Sort of like the skin that I used in my last video. We also have ourselves the new feature, which is the Rampage Inducer. I'm not really sure what that is either. And then we're also getting ourselves a new Outbreak mode called Survival in Season, which is very, very interesting. I'm not sure if this is going to be like Modern Warfare 3 Survival or if, it's, or if it is going to be like a... I mean, there are pictures of food on here, so 
I'm not really sure what this is. It sounds pretty cool. I may have gameplay on it. I honestly have not touched zombies since my Death Martyr Toten video. So maybe it would be fun to go back and play Outbreak, which I have never played either. We're also getting ourselves some new op weapons, operators, and more. So starting off here with the first new operator, we're getting ourselves Hudson, which is very, very cool. Obviously, Hudson is a very, very popular character within Call of Duty from the Black Ops series, which is always awesome to see, as well as the Psy melee weapon, which again looks like a... Uh, Japanese sword of some kind and then we're getting some new bundles the first new bundle that we're going to be getting is the judge dread bundle which I'm not really sure what this is I think it might be sort of a movie character or something like that again don't get mad at me in the comments if I am getting that wrong because I was not a kid in the 80s I was a kid in the 2000s so uh, I don't know what this is it still looks pretty cool I might pick up the bundle but yeah overall it looks, I mean it's a pretty darn cool looking skin so I'm definitely excited to give that a go we're also getting the Oktoberfest and the motocross bundles which you can actually earn kind of points from I'm not sure what that means exactly if it's a uh, money bundle so it's if it says 1999 it's a money bundle not a cod point bundle so maybe if you buy these bundles you get cod points in return and we also have ourselves the ghost ship mastercraft which looks very very cool as well and it looks to be for the aug or the farah i'm thinking or not the farah the ffr i think it's the aug though which looks very very cool again i'll definitely be picking up that bundle and then last but not least we have ourselves some new prestige shop content which includes a blueprint for the sniper rifle the vgm 20 millimeter i think is what it's called and we have ourselves a few new calling cards as well i still wish that they would add the 15th or the 12th prestige or 13th through 15th prestiges for some of the call of duty games because as i've said many times i really wish that i could use the call of duty black ops or the Black Ops 1 15th Prestige icon. I really wish I could use that, but unfortunately they haven't added those emblems, those Prestige emblems in, and unfortunately I don't think there will. But depending on how long I've been recording this video for, I might actually go and jump into some patch notes that we got earlier today for this Season 5 Reloaded event as well. Alrighty, so I, looking back, I only have been recording for about seven minutes. We went through that roadmap very, very quickly. So I'm not, I'm purposely going to uh, push this video to 10 minutes, but there was some information about some patch notes for this season which is pretty darn awesome including i believe some nerfs to the new dlc weapons so this is once again from charlie intel again link link in the description but it says that season 5 reloaded so it says it's official season 5 reloaded starts next week bringing even more free content to multiplayer zombies and call of duty warzone plus new prestige content and more in multiplayer actually never mind that is stuff that i've already mentioned let me see if i can find the weapon tuning so here's the weapon tuning a uh, paragraph from this article it says today's update also includes new weapon tuning for the tech 9 the em2 and the ppsh 41 if you've been getting lit up by the full auto version of the tech 9 a little too often lately no worries we've reduced the muzzle we've reduced the damage for the full auto repeater muzzle by 18% from 50 to 41 per shot. On the EM2 assault rifle, the 25.8 task force barrel attachment now reduces the weapon's fire rate by 7% as an additional trade off. And the PPSH 41 gets an up upgrade for the 15.7 inch task force barrel, damage increased from 4% to 7%. And the Spetsnaz field grip handle ADS time has been increased from 15 to 18% as well which is very very cool so i'm personally very very excited to see that these changes have occurred because the tech 9 has been dominating most of my lobbies in this game lately so seeing that toned down a little bit is definitely a great thing because it will put it more on par with the other good smgs in the game it's still going to be a great smg i don't think this nerf will hurt it too much but it'll be a little less broken and a little less overused which is very very nice to see the m2 star rifle is one of my favorite ars in the game actually at the moment it's a very 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 solid assault rifles but i don't really use a task force barrel so i'm pretty much fine with it being nerfed a little bit and then the PPS ppsh getting a buff as well is nothing but a good thing as well so definitely like these weapon tuning changes they're only doing these two weapons but still very very cool nonetheless and last but not least we have ourselves the free access for black ops cold war so starting today through september 7th Everyone can download Black Ops Cold War free access and play over 25 multiplayer maps and Outbreak and Zombies for free, in addition to Zombies Onslaught on PlayStation. And for the first time, free access players will be able to participate in the latest gunfight tournament for the chance to unlock all new rewards for making it through the full bracket, which is very, very cool. And this basically, here's everything that comes with the free multiplayer access. It comes with TDM, Season 5, Mosh Pit, Newtown 24-7, Throwback Mosh Pit, double agent melee gunfight tournament face off 6v6 party games and the multi-team mosh pit and then it also comes with zombies with outbreak and onslaught so unfortunately the free access does not include 
the regular multi the regular zombies maps which is a little bit unfortunate but maybe that will make people want to buy the uh game but we'll see guys it's pretty much this life cycle is pretty much over and for those guys who are wondering as well double xp will start in uh tomorrow which goes through all of labor day weekend so uh september 3rd which is tomorrow so friday all the way through to these to september 7th i believe which is the day after labor day so it says here uh, September 3rd at 10 a.m. to 7 September 7th at 10 a.m. Pacific time. So that's very, very cool as well. Can you rank up and everything like that? I will try my best to rank up, but normally I do a lot of stuff during Labor Day weekend, so I probably won't be able to rank up that much, but still very, very cool for those of you guys who have time to play Black Ops Cold War. And then the week after that, we have ourselves to look forward to the Vanguard beta as well. So very, very exciting stuff here in the Call of Duty community. We're getting Season 5 Reloaded as well as the beta, and I will have beta details for you guys on Saturday. So anyway, guys, that's going to do it for a, another Black Ops Cold War video here today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. And again, I know a lot of you guys probably don't really care that much about Black Ops Cold War, but I still like it. I'm still enjoying the game, and I still want to cover it for those of you guys who do like it, the game and still play it because yeah that's kind of the point of this channel but it was hopefully guys with this video if you guys did like it as always appreciated if you want to check out any of my other previous call of duty videos i will leave the previous video at the end of the video as well as the two previous videos all the way at the end of the video as well i'll see you guys all another call of duty video very very soon <laughs>